The patient was a 68-year-old retired physician with complaints of progressive radial side wrist pain and swelling. Radiographs AP and Lyle showed advanced slack wrist. The combination changed on the capitate and the lunate fossa to be relatively preserved. A standard dorsal approach is made to the wrist. The extensor tendons are identified. The extensor pulgus longus is released to the third compartment, and the second and fourth dorsal compartments are elevated. A radial based flap will be made to expose the carpus. The carpus uh, showed the lunate fossa to be relatively preserved. The scaphoid facet showed advanced changes. A proximal carpectomy is performed. Evaluation of the capitate showed grade 4 combalacia or the majority of the head of the capitate, so it was felt the patient was not a candidate for a proximal carpectomy. A capitate resurfacing is selected. The lunate fossa is measured in the sagittal plane. And in the coronal plane. So in this way the implant will be sized specifically for the patient's lunate fossa as compared to the smaller head of the capitate. Next, the capitate head is sized. In most instances, the larger size capitate will be selected. The guide is used to place the guide wire down the central axis of the capitate. It's well centered in the uh, head of the capitate, and our fluoroscopic views, both AP lateral planes, show the guide wire uh, down the central axis of the capitate. Next, uh, with the step drill, the capitate is reamed. As one gets to the step part of the drill, it's important to oscillate. The drills can, as it can advance quite quickly. The capitate is drilled till the drill is flush with the capitate. Next, with a cannula tap, the capitate is tapped. The tap is brought down to the laser line. Now, the central screw. Post is placed, is cannulated, and is passed over the guide wire. There, the capitate is then reamed. 
and it's cannulated, and the reamer is passed down to goes flush with the central screw post. The dorsal aspect of the capitate is in further shaped for the implant. The trial is selected based on the prior measurements and is placed on the central screw post. The risk is reduced and evaluated under fluoroscopy. You see the implant is well seated in the lunate fossa and confirms the anatomy of the patient's lunate fossa. The trial is removed. The screw post is cleared of any soft tissue debris. And the final implant will be impacted with Morris taper onto the screw post. With the impactor, the Morris taper is seated. It's important to check the, to make sure there's a good seating of the Morris taper and the risk is reduced. If there's any de degenerative change onto the lunate fossa, a soft tissue patch can be placed covering the distal radius. And the layers are closed. Post-op radiographs show good fixation and seating of the implant onto the lunate fossa.